I was really really surprised by the fact that you have to take um, classes that aren't required for you well required for your major but isn't related to your major at all like right now I'm a linguistics major I'm supposed to take biology chemistry and physics which is <laughs> weird because I tend to study languages if you don't have straight A's or anything that's okay you're not gonna cry about it you're gonna let it go and be like I'll just do better next time in Nigeria I think you're parents would probably yell at you a lot and be like, no, a B is not enough, you gotta go, you know, further. Another difficult thing is we don't use a lot of emails in China. But here, like, everything, everyone uses emails. You need to uh, make appointments with your professor, you need to write in formal, and you need to communicate with your group members. Uh, they all use emails a lot. I feel like here that we have more constantly assignments to do, like everything is a little bit more than in school for me. Um, in Germany I perceived it to be more like your responsibility and we have more like bigger projects to the end of the semester which actually makes your grade in the end instead of turning in like assignments or all, uh, all semester long. What I experienced in my first few months in USA, before the class, the professors will send the materials to the students, but in our country, what, it, what we experienced is after the class, we used to read the things what actually taught in the class. But here in US, the professors would prefer and would expect that students will get prepared by themselves before the class. That's one thing very important.